a part of our Old Testament reading from last Sunday, from Exodus 16. The Lord said to Moses, I have heard the grumbling of the people of Israel. Say to them, At twilight you shall eat meat, and in the morning you shall be filled with bread. Then you shall know that I am the Lord your God. In the evening quail came up and covered the camp, and in the morning dew lay around the camp. And when the dew had gone up, there was on the face of the wilderness a fine flake-like thing, fine as frost on the ground. When the people of Israel saw it, they said to one another, What is it? For they did not know what it was. And Moses said to them, It is the bread that the Lord has given you to eat. This is the word of the Lord. Quail, miraculously given. Bread from heaven, manna, miraculously given. Water, miraculously given to the Israelites by God. These are just some of the ways that God showed his mercy and his care and his kindness to his Old Testament people who were going to spend the next 40 years wandering in the wilderness. Do you remember other things that God did for them during those 40 years of wandering? Well, at Sinai, God gave instructions on how to build the tabernacle, their church, a place where they could fellowship with God. That's one of the blessings he gave to them. Another thing that God did for them, remember the pillar of cloud by day and the pillar of fire by night. This was the way that God led them from place to place. It was a visible sign of his presence. I remember too when they crossed the Red Sea, it was the pillar of fire that acted as a rear guard and stood between Pharaoh's advancing army and the Israelites waiting to cross the Red Sea. The pillar of cloud and the pillar of fire was another blessing that God gave to his Old Testament people during those 40 years of wandering. Victory on the battlefield over their enemies was another blessing God gave to them. Remember that time when, as long as Moses held up his arms, they were successful, and he had two men stand side by side, holding up his arms so that the Israelite army below would be successful on the battlefield. Success over their enemies, another blessing God gave to them. Also, uh, in the book of Deuteronomy, I think, is where it says that during those 40 years, their shoes did not wear out. These are some of the ways that God showed his mercy and his care and his kindness to his Old Testament people who were going to spend the next 40 years wandering in the wilderness. We too need God's mercy and care and kindness. This world is in many ways like a wilderness. It's filled with sin and death and the devil and all kinds of dangers. We too need God's mercy care, and kindness. And he shows us those things, especially in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. In the Gospels, we see all this wisdom taught to us by Jesus. He goes to the cross for us and offers up his life as a sacrifice for our sins and taking the punishment that our guilt deserves upon himself. On the third day, he rose from the dead, the tomb of Joseph of Arimathea empty, because Jesus is victorious over death in the grave. He has power over death in the grave, and he will one day share that power with us and raise us. Because you belong to Christ, because you were baptized into Christ, you will receive God's mercy, care, kindness forever, here and now and forever in heaven. Your wanderings through this wilderness will end safely in the promised land of heaven. In Jesus' name, amen. And the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen.